Hey, welcome into the Mystery Fifth Hour presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental. They bring you the Mystery Fifth Hour every single week. We appreciate you joining us. Please give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Make sure you've subscribed and set your alerts on YouTube as well. Um, as you can tell, perhaps by our clothing, this is being recorded around the Independence Day weekend. July 3rd is the date, so Independence Day will be tomorrow as we record this. One of your favorite holidays? I mean... Look, it's a very important. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is it one of my favorite? I mean, Thanksgiving and, and Christmas are going to take. Oh, it's a good cake. summer holiday. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how can you start? You're, you're going to seem unpatriotic, I guess, if you say no. no. Yeah. yeah, that's what Lance was calculating yeah. in his head there. I can tell you. I mean, I guess you couldn't say no in the 1950s when McCarthy was rounding up communists. Uh, but here, here's yeah. the way uh, I relate it, and <laughs> this this is selfish, but I think a lot of kids probably did this. The fourth, you were already off. That's true. Yeah. It wasn't really a holiday for yeah, me. I mean, yeah. really holidays. One of the, I mean, you loved what they were about, but at the same time, the ability to get out of going to school. Yeah. To, to me, the fourth was always, uh, it's not mathematically the thing, but it always felt like it was halftime of summer. Yeah. On yeah. Fourth of July. Yeah. Now it's like summer's running out when you come out of the Fourth of July. Yeah. It's really halftime of the year. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, usually, I like it. It's yeah. usually the first time I eat watermelon all year long. <laughs> I'm having watermelon, and you're <laughs> right. Too. It'll be the first time I've had I, like a good piece of watermelon. I might have had a chunk. Uh, the the so you get the, if you get the the watermelon margarita at Taco Mama, That's it's got good. the chunks in it. Yeah. I had one yesterday at lunch. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I had a, a little watermelon earlier this week, but it's usually the 4th of July week. I associate it with barbecue pork. Yes, sir. Um, but it's Nothing also, that. it's usually the first time I have the grilled corn on the cob um, uh, on a 4th of July grill out. So I'm not, we said this in the actual show the other day and I had a friend of mine text me and was like, you are so right. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much done though with July the 4th fireworks. Oh yeah. 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 Like I don't go out of my way. Like if they were shooting it's been fireworks. been 20 years for me. If they were shooting fireworks in my neighborhood, I would watch them, but I'm not going to drive anywhere and sit outside to watch them. Last one I watched, we were on a um, trip that carried over on the 4th of July to Memphis when I saw tiny Graceland, uh, the real Graceland. I just yes. think it's tiny. Right. Uh, and then we went up to St. Louis and did some things and we caught a, the July 3rd, uh, St. Louis Cardinals, Nationals Cardinals. Oh, there you go. Uh, Sunday night baseball. Very American. Uh, Sunday night baseball, Bush Stadium. And then afterwards, we laid on the grass outside the stadium and uh, and watched the fireworks. Wow. That was just gunfire, Jim. Yeah. No, that was so, uh, fireworks. Fire. Gunfire right. was off in the distance. Well, yeah, and they, where you were in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Tyler, your favorite thing. Tyler is uh, in for Rockstar here on the Mystery Fifth Hour. Your favorite te- thing about Independence Day? Uh, the food. Uh, what, what do you like? Uh, I like pulled barbecue pork. Uh, I like grilled corn on the cob. I like watermelon. I, I like everything that you would have. At uh, a, I so I like just good old-fashioned hot dogs. I like hot dogs, oh, too. I love a good hot dog. I had yeah. two yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Before golf. What do you put on your hot dog? Um, if it's not like a, a chili cheese dog, then I'll usually go like a relish and ketchup. I need to try relish. I've never gotten I, into relish. I, tell you, I like relish. Relish, relish do you really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, relish on a hot dog is not my thing. Yeah. I just never have done that, a lot of that. I went mustard, kraut, onion. See, that's a mustard and kraut. Perfect for me. And then they had a little specialty sauce. Yeah. Um, that seemed to be a little sneaky like Mr. Pete. <laughs> yes. But uh, they called it their own specialty sauce. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the chili cheese dog, but if I'm doing, like, I like a slaw dog with sauce. Oh, on. yeah, a good slaw dog. you got to have fantastic. good slaw, though. Yeah, it's got to be the right kind. Our friends at Hamburger Heaven have a great they slaw do. dog. Yeah. A great slaw dog. Yeah, Chick-fil-A could have done a great slaw they dog could with their have. slaw. They could have. If it's yeah. the right kind of slaw, like, it can't be too runny because then it's got, it screws That's up right. the consistency of That's everything. Right. But it's got to be mayonnaise-based. It's, it's got to be mayonnaise-based, and it's almost got to be like a dry slaw. Yeah. Not, not completely dry, but dry you know on the dry side hey mccurry van and car rental that's not even our topic today that's just a preview uh mccurry van and car rental brings you the mystery fifth hour all kinds of vehicles to choose from that includes trucks suvs and passenger vans easy in easy out easy to rent in athens muscle shoals huntsville second avenue northwest on coleman skyland boulevard in tuscaloosa you can reserve your rental today 256-559-1003 256-559-1003 or mccurryrentals.com. Lance brings the topic today, and it is about celebrity deaths. Yeah, well, look, I I can remember, and you guys will probably agree, where you were at certain celebrity deaths. Zero doubt. I can yeah, and, yep. and, and there are some celebrity deaths that will stop people in their tracks. Yeah. 
I was just talking to Emily Grace in uh, the sales office, and she was like, uh, I was probably the Queen of England. I was like, she was like 100 years old. Yeah, like, that was no surprise. It was kind of expected. Now, when we would hear Kurt Loder from the old MTV, you knew it was probably bad news, but that's how I found out about the Notorious B.I.G., Biggie Smalls. Um that's how I found out Kurt about Kurt Cobain. That was the most famous one, I think. Kurt Cobain, yep. River Phoenix, John Candy. Yeah, River Phoenix, too. I forgot about that. Outside the Viper Room. By the way, when I was out in L.A. last summer, uh, we drove by the Viper Room. I've actually hung out in the Viper Room a couple yeah. of times. I mean, it did look like a... I mean, it's got such a bad connotation, but it looked like a pretty cool place, actually. Yeah, I mean, it was... Uh, you know, when Johnny Depp bought it, it was really, really hot for a long time. But that's the one thing people remember most was... Joaquin Phoenix on the payphone out front and his brother, unfortunately, River Phoenix, passing away on the sidewalk. Yeah, and the band continuing to play like they didn't interrupt the band. <laughs> the yeah. show just went on. Is that in West Hollywood or anywhere? Because I was on the old yeah. West. Yeah, it's close to West Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, I was on the West Hollywood for Alabama's trip out there, and we went to dinner down the street. But right across the corner there on the corner was what's the great music venue that uh, all the big hair bands and – Whiskey Go-Go. The Whiskey Go-Go yeah. was right there. Yeah. Tyler, yes, you don't good. remember this, but MTV, Lance mentioned it. Kurt, do you even know who Kurt Loder is? No idea. Oh, I think he's it. close to 80 now. Yeah, Kurt, really? Is yeah. he that old? Yeah. Yeah, Kurt Loder. He was sort of older for the MTV yeah. crowd back then. Yeah. 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 So MTV used to only play music videos. I mean, they very, I mean, this was probably before they even had original programming. It was just music videos. In summer, in summer spring breaks, they would have the, yeah. those getaways. Yeah, and then they started doing, you know, uh, Real World was their first, Reality yeah. show. Reality show. Is that where Behind the Music was, though, first? That was, was a that VH1. That was VH1. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but MTV, and they had a guy named Kurt Loder, who was their news guy. And 99.9% .9 of the time, he'd do like three stories. It was like, you know, RCA Records is announcing that uh, Michael Jackson is dropping a new album or, you know, yeah. something like Lalo that. Lollapalooza set records this weekend in Chicago. But whatever. occasionally you were just watching music videos. And like Lance said, they had this, it would, it was this sound effect. Go, like a printer. And it would say MTV breaking news. And you knew somebody had died. Like there was, they never interrupted it just for anything else. But you know, we've still got listeners and viewers on the older spectrum that probably were around when JFK Jr. Oh yeah. Or not JFK Jr., JFK. I yeah. do remember when JFK Jr. passed away as well in the plane crash. But JFK, they probably, I mean, that would probably be the most significant of people that would still be alive yeah. in our audience because it was obviously the last president that was assassinated. Mm -hmm. But I remember when Princess Diana when she passed away, I remember waking up because I think it was like in the middle of the night because obviously it's like, I think it was a Saturday night, right? Saturday night, early Sunday I, I morning. Remember, I was still at work. I, I, I was yeah. engaged to Bethany then and we were living together and I remember waking up and she was crying in bed and she was crying about that. Wow. Yeah. Did she have a special attachment or I, just I a think it was more story? so just about seeing all of the pictures with, with Harry and with William. And, yeah. you know, you see a young mom at that age dying and those kids are left behind. And You, you make know, it yourself yeah, at that point. I, I think she yeah. probably did some of that. But, you know, I think that was that was one of those deaths where, I mean, did we not have uh, Elton John? You know, they, they brought back the song. He rewrote Candle it. in the Wind. Yeah, he rewrote yeah. it. Yeah. And she's and singing it at the funeral. Singing at the ceremony. funeral. And I think uh, there was a time. Do you know something about that? About Elton John, because I heard your mic come on, I just didn't know. Because I think at the time it actually eclipsed in sales the original Candle yeah, in the Wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think he's ever played that song live since then. Seriously, uh, since the funeral. Yeah, he's he's refused. Yeah, Ooh, it boys. makes sense. Yeah, I, I don't know what time they announced it, but I, it seems like I was at work late night and they interrupted programming which would have been it was 11 at least 11 here if not closer to midnight so i don't know what that was seven in the morning yeah, on over nbc there. right that's yeah. when you were 13 yeah i was yeah. at nbc 13 when it happened yep and yeah. i remember them coming up there and everyone's looking at the monitors and it's, oh princess Diana. well and they all the only video they had was that video like of the tunnel and right. then the emergency vehicles are right there and they just kept showing that video over and over and over again you know i remember one time we were playing in the lord wedgwood um charity golf tournament and this is probably i was playing with stan white and i'll never forget there was an update that ben roethlisberger was in a motorcycle wreck and like from the original announcement it sounded like he might have died i don't know yeah. if you guys remember that at all i don't i remember more tiger woods on that because i'll never forget i was in the press box uh at the 
2009 Iron Bowl yeah. in Jordan-Hare Stadium. The drive game with Greg McElroy. That's right. And yep. somebody behind me said, um, hey, CBS is interrupting this game because Tiger – I think they were watching it on the monitor. Tiger Woods has just been in a serious car accident. And there started to be a rumor that Tiger Woods actually had died in that car accident. It turned out that that was far from the, well, the, you know, it's, far it's, from it, the truth. He's got a seven iron in the back of the window. <laughs> yeah. We talk about this topic. You know, Rockstar had asked forever ago about what is a celebrity death that would actually break the Internet. Uh -huh. Tiger Woods back in the day, Taylor Swift would be that now, mm, right? Zero doubt about it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But those, those weren't actual deaths. I remember this is so random. And he's his, his past is so marred because of what he did. But I will never forget where Dunaway and I were doing a show with Michael Jackson. Yeah, I've got it written down. We were at a tire a tire changing place. Yeah. Is all I remember. We were, and I remember we were sitting, we were at Cafe Lazio. We were sitting outside like this tire changing place had this massive like um, drive through. Yeah, and they put us out there, and they had like a food truck or something like that. Yeah. I don't even remember what the event was. Uh, the old gas station overhang. Yeah, was, and and it was in the summer. So it was pretty hot sitting out there. Yeah. And I'll never forget the suit Ryan Haney called and said, hey, just a heads up, news is break. It was in a break. News is break that Michael Jackson has done. Yeah, that definitely hijacked the show. Oh, there's no doubt it hijacked the show. I think that's what we did the rest of our show on. Yep. And, you know, that was back in AM 690. And then, and then we had Prince pass away, yeah. which I think that's been like seven years now, six, seven years maybe. It's close it, to that. It was around 2017 2018 right. yeah as big as those as big as those names were i think when elvis passed away i think that was well, you don't remember that no though. i don't remember yeah. it but i'm saying you know i brought up jfk yeah. i mean elvis would be in that realm though. i was alive i was a kid for elvis I, i'll tell you i was playing. was your mom a big fan um yeah mom and dad were not they were not the biggest elvis fans but they were fans and i remember i was playing nerf football down the street this would have been in the 70s right yeah, i think he died in 77 77 seems about right uh, Lisa Pouncey's house down the street. We were playing in Lisa Pouncey's <laughs> front yard. I love how Dunway always remembers um, the girl's and name. And she, uh, no, she was a bear, nerf football. We played tackle nerf football. Uh, I bet you did. She, Lisa, uh, don't you tackle me this time. <laughs> no, you do not want Lisa. To, she knocked the crap out of you. Um, but usually it was three on three. And we played and I came in and they were, they were watching TV and Elvis had died. I remember that. That was another one I had written down. Bear Bryant, of course. Oh, yeah, around um, here for sure. Yeah, around here, here, Bear yeah. Bryant. I literally... I uh, was I went to back to my high school because I was driving by just as when I got the nerd news I was driving by my high school and I knew how much Martha Wall one of my teachers were and she ran the school paper I knew what a big Bear Bryant big Alabama fan she was and I went and got her out of class and told her the news in the hallway well this wow, I, you did know, you cry? oh bald oh bald. Yeah. couldn't uh, go back into class it's it's undefeated uh, everybody's gonna gonna die and when Nick Saban does finally pass away oh, can you yeah. imagine how big that will be in our state yeah it'll be huge but you know the thing about brian is he had just finished coaching i mean it was january after he had coached his last game in december so it was so raw still then you yeah. never really got to see him as a retired coach well my number one uh i was covering it in daytona when dale earnhardt died and that was just such a eerie thing to keep working through and to carry it and um and you know you keep hearing but how bad is he hurt and you you know you keep hearing people talk and i went over to the uh to his art you know his hauler uh to try to listen in on co other people's conversations and that's when i first heard uh from chocolate his gas change uh changing gas filler the gas guy as he whispered to somebody that he didn't make it didn't make it and i was like he has died and then we started pulling cables and we carried it live on nbc 13 in birmingham the news conference we interrupted prime time in birmingham that's how big nascar yeah, was at I the time to carry dale earnhardt's announcement um, I forget the guy's I, name. He used to run Talladega. Now he's in charge of – Rick Humphrey. Uh, no, it was Helton, uh, I think. Oh, Mike Helton. Mike yeah. Helton. Yeah. He, he, uh, we've oh, lost yeah. Dale yeah, Earnhardt yeah, yeah, today. Yeah. yeah, I remember I was in the parking lot of Legion Field leaving the Thunderbolts first game. And I remember somebody yelling out, Dale Earnhardt is dead. And I was like, it's not possible. And then you turn on the radio and – yeah. yeah, and you find out it really happened, and that was uh, that was surreal. That was surreal. I it's so random. I remember. And my, he's the last to pass away, right? In NASCAR. Uh, yes. On on. Uh, yeah, I mean, it led to a lot of safety the Hans changes. device yeah. immediately. Yeah, because yeah, I, I guess Richard Petty's son had died before that. Adam I, Petty, right? Adam I Petty. think so. Yeah. And uh, you know, Davy Allison wasn't on the track, yeah. but that was another one for oh, me. I just yeah. left the track at Talladega, and I was just barely across the bridge in Pell City on the way back to Birmingham 
when they said, turn around, Davy Allison's been in a helicopter crash. Uh, so that was a big one, too, around here, Davy Allison's death. I, you know, as you, as you learn more, I guess, you realize this is probably far more prevalent with mental illness than you realize. But you, you initially said stops you in your track, and I'm not going to remember exactly where I was, but just the fact that Robin Williams took his own life because he seemed always just so jovial and happy. He was and a that, comedian, yeah. Yeah, he was a comedian. He made me laugh so many times, and you never saw him in a public appearance when he wasn't on 10, right? Well, you did hear he had a terminal disease, right? I did not. Oh, no. yeah. No, yeah, I yeah. just assumed he it was. He had that Louis, help me out, Tyler. Louis body syndrome? Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. He had uh, that, and so he knew that it was going to be like kind of a drawn-out terminal illness that his family was going to have to suffer with, so he decided to take his life. Yeah, but, you, I mean, that's just one of those where. But he, I didn't know that until after the fact, yeah, and I agree with you. Yeah, you never saw him when he wasn't on 10. Yeah. And, I mean, any interview he did, he was always up here. And then he takes his own life, and you're just like, man, how can the how can there be the gap between what you see of him and him being in a situation where he takes his own life like that? Again, not going to remember exactly where I was, but I can just remember seeing that and yeah. and in process. I remember being in L.A. when Phil Hartman's wife, you know, shot him, and then ultimately, you know, committed suicide. Remember that was a bad one too. Oh yeah, such a funny guy, Phil Hartman. He was so good. Boy, this is a sad yeah, topic leave it for to me, mystery right? fifth hour I mean, <laughs> sad one tyler you got one uh you took mine actually Which my one? number one was uh robin williams do you remember where you were how old were oh, yeah. you you were young Gosh, i was i was maybe nine or ten years old but, yeah uh, i was sitting in a doctor's office and you know i'm i'm playing a video game or whatever just waiting to go back and then i see on the tv that they announced that robin williams passed away and then I remember just closing my game and just watching the rest of the broadcast just to find out what happened. What was your favorite Robin Williams? Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, probably. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's probably not the one he wanted to be remembered no, for. No, probably was, Goodwill was, Hunting. He was, he was pretty, pretty good. Hunting. Hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Great, too. Won an Academy Award, Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, I mean, he was he was great, Miss Doubtfire, but he probably did more work than that. Good Morning Vietnam and, you know, Goodwill Hunting. The, he probably the Fisher for, King. I don't know if Fisher you guys ever King. saw that. I never saw the Fisher yeah. King. Storyline. What storyline? Storyline is he goes through something traumatic in his life, and he's basically, I think he went from a radio personality to living on the streets, and he is schizophrenic, Uh and it's him and Jeff Bridges, but he plays a great role. He's nominated for Best Actor for that. Yeah. 1992, I think. Yeah. What about Heath Ledger? Were you a big Heath Ledger guy? Um, I guess not until after The Dark Knight. I I didn't really know uh, much of his stuff before then. See, that's the sad yeah, thing. That, that, was, I, that was a I've big deal. I've seen The Patriot yeah. and uh, Cause, 10 Things I Hate About You, but yeah, right. I didn't what, see those until after. You know, I didn't realize, Knight. I read the other day, that he was supposed to play the part that Josh Brolin played in No Country for Old Men. Yep. Lou Ellen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they really wanted Heath Ledger, and Josh Brolin basically begged them and sent them a bunch of audition tapes and ended up getting the role. But when he passed away, I think he was with one or both of the Olsen twins. Is that right? Didn't one of them I, call 911? I think it was one of the Olsen twins, yeah. Was that his, was the Dark Knight his final role? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, it was still in like post-production when he passed away. Yeah, yeah they had finished uh, shooting, but they were still editing, and uh, yeah. Heath Ledger was still in his hotel room with his uh, journal that he was writing diary entries as the Joker in. Oof. Oh, wow. For wow. the entire production of the film. So Yeah. I saw, I saw well, a... Well, I think uh, you get a pretty penny if you auction that thing off. Oh, no doubt. I imagine that thing's in a vault somewhere, or the family has it. Yeah. I did see a thing uh, recently, a video recently. I saw it on TikTok. Uh, it was a documentary about the death of Chris Farley. And the, the what they believe the amount of drugs he used in his final 24 hours. It was astounding. And they were just like showing the apartment where he had gone. He had left a party, he had gone to an apartment with a friend, and they had uh, called. That used to be on reels. It was called like uh, Last Hours yeah. Autopsy. Last 48 Hours or something like that. Yeah, it wasn't like the first 48. It was the last 48. Last Days Of. That's what they call it. Last Days yeah. Of Chris Farley. And they showed the apartment where he went with a friend, and they basically ordered drugs. They basically did a DoorDash for drugs. They just called a guy they knew. He brought them drugs. They used drugs throughout the night, left. He went back to his apartment, and that's where he passed away. But they were, they were recounting the excessive amount of drugs, and it's, it's just remarkable what they think he used in his last oh, 48 I hours. bet he was a heavyweight back in the day when oh, it came to that. Oh, yeah. And that's another guy that was just always on 10 mm-hmm. and obviously was living a tortured life yep. on, on the inside. 
All right, so um, <laughs> very uplifting. We started with a very cheerful uh, yeah. July the fourth, and yeah. they just brought happy, you right happy down. Happy holidays! Yeah, everybody. hope everyone has enjoyed their July the fourth. All right, uh, McCurry Van and Car Rental brings you the Mystery Fifth Hour. Rent from McCurry; they make it super easy. Uh, all the trucks, SUVs, passenger vans you depend on. Easy in, easy out, easy to rent in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest, Skyland Boulevard in Tuscaloosa. Reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003 or mccurryrentals.com. Please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and set your alerts so you know when we're live. And always follow us on social media at Next Round Live. Thank you for joining us for the Mystery Fifth Hour.